So a few days ago, I released a video about the heavy tanks that Endlessly could potentially give us. Some includes the ISU-152, but overall, most of these files were in-game. That said, today we're going to be talking about something different, and one that actually has made me get angry a lot, and that is saying it mildly. Today, we're going to be talking about the Super Pershing, and when potentially it's going to be in-game. But without further ado, this video has been made possible for the friends at Discord. If you haven't liked, subscribe, or joined the Discord, I highly suggest that you do. That said, let's get started. So for those who don't know, Enlisted teased the Super Pershing a while back, and when I mean a while back, 11 months ago, so literally almost a year ago, so that's great. That said, the issue about this tank is that it really needs to be in-game. Number one, mainly because Enlisted has teased it, and if we're actually looking for Enlisted to have all these heavy tanks that potentially might be coming in, for example, the Yak Tiger, the ISU-152, you might as well just add this tank for the Americans, because as of right now, I don't know about you guys, but the Pershing isn't the best tank when it comes to dealing with King Tigers, or Tiger 2 H's. Because, well, let's just say, the frontal armor can be easily penned, and the 90mm gun, although good for any other tank, is pretty bad when dealing with the Tiger 2 H, mainly because of the fact that the Tiger 2 H has so good armor, and it really requires a lot of skill and luck to penetrate the Tiger 2 H front on. That said, looking back in the history of Enlisted, we can tell you that Enlisted's adding of vehicles is actually pretty long. For example, in May of 2020, they released the IS-2-1944. Of course, there was only an image of this, but the IS-2-1944 was then officially added in August 2023, which is a long time. That said, they also added the Tiger on May 8th, 2020, and then they officially released the Tiger around two years ago in 2022, which is just great if you ask me. It taken him two to three years to implement some tanks in game. I hopefully don't think this will be the same problem with the Pershing, but looking what we have right now, it's almost been a year, and still the Pershing hasn't been out, which is an achievement by my standards. That said, I do think Enlisted should add it, you let's say, now, because if you haven't noticed, when fighting against the Americans, in terms of tanks at least, the Germans are really good. In terms of weapons, I do think they have the slight edge, but in terms of players in general, that can easily compensate the weapon disparity which isn't a lot, by the way. The tank problem is more of an issue because the Pershing, right now, is pretty much lackluster against the Tiger II Hs, and thus, what the Americans tend to do, once they're fighting against Tiger II Hs, is to use cast bombers. And the only real thing that the Germans really have to do is bring up a BF-109 and shoot down all the planes, and the Americans are pretty much screwed. And this has been happening game over and game on. The only issue about this is if the Americans are allowed to keep deploying P-47s and bomb the heck out of the Germans. And if no German player decides to bring down the P-47s, then it becomes a fair match. But most of the time, at least when I'm on the team, I usually go in a plane and shoot down the P-47s and pretty much the Tiger II Hs are unkillable. Unless some guy goes around the flank, and even then the bazooka is not that good against dealing with Tiger II Hs. On the other hand, the United States overall in general needs better tanks. Their planes are really good, and honestly their planes have been good ever since the creation of the game, and the Germans have been getting their plane buffed, which means that the Germans overall are getting much better than the United States, while the United States is staying at same or getting worse because the Germans are getting better. And against Japan, the Pershing can't even penetrate the Ho-Ri. Tell me if you know how to penetrate the Ho-Ri frontally in the comment section down below because I'm actually interested. But needless to say, the Americans need better stuff. The Japanese have probably the best assault rifle slash semi-automatic rifle slash automatic rifle, the Hay Automatic, and the Americans have pretty much decent weapons. Overall, the Americans lack pretty much almost everything in terms of tanks especially tanks, because the Japanese outclassed them by a mile, the Germans outclassed them by a pretty good margin, and in terms of planes, against Germany, they're actually pretty equal if you have good players on your team, and against Japan, the Japanese planes are much better in terms of turning and in terms of maneuverability. That is a problem if you're playing as the United States, because their main way of fighting and winning battles is essentially through air power and infantry, of which, like I said, if you have decent German or Japanese players, which you're almost guaranteed to get these days, then you have a good time in the infantry department. The main issue is the tank department, which, let's be honest, the United States are suffering. And this is why I think you need to add Super Pershing now. 
And honestly, at this point, if you have all the files in game, why is Enlisted not adding this? It has literally been one year, so please Enlisted, please add this tank. We are requesting it, and we are asking for it sincerely. And lo and behold, if you do add this tank, please think of a way to add an American tank that can actually stand up to the Yak Tiger. Because at this rate, why add the Super Pershing if you're going to add the Yak Tiger? That's it. Have a great day, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.